has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Keyframes indicate points within a frame where an object or clip effect will transition from its current state to a new state. In other words, whenever a keyframe transition happens, the object or effect properties change. To use keyframes, open the Timeline window pane from the View ribbon. After you add an object to a frame, double-click the object to view the Object Properties window pane. Properties that can contain keyframes are noted by a yellow diamond. In the Frame Editor, get the object to the state that you want it. This is the starting point of the transition. Now go to the Object Properties window pane and click the diamond from beside the desired opacity or background color fields in the Object Appearance section, the Position, Size, or Rotation fields in the Object Layout section, or the Text box in the Text section. Note that not all objects have the same keyframes, and clip effects allow only size and position keyframes. Once the first keyframe has been added, the keyframe type bar is added to the object. Each keyframe is indicated by a diamond on the keyframe type bar. You can create the object's second state by dragging the playhead in the timeline window pane. Once you have the playhead set to the exact time you want the second transition to occur, change the object's property again by using either the object properties window pane or by manipulating the object in the frame editor. Repeat this process for every transition within this frame. Every transition, or keyframe, has its own diamond on the keyframe type bar. Once you've finished adding keyframes, you can edit them to access the interpolation property, or the way the object or clip effect transitions from one keyframe to the next. A linear interpolation sets a gradual change from one keyframe to the next. A discrete interpolation sets an instant change from one keyframe to the next. Text keyframes only use the discrete interpolation. Size, color, opacity, and rotation keyframes can use the linear and discrete interpolations. Additionally, position keyframes allow a third interpolation, Bezier. This interpolation sets a curved path from one keyframe to the next. Let's take a look at some of the different examples of keyframes and interpolations. Here's a rectangle with color keyframes that are set to linear interpolations. Here's an oval with position keyframes that are set to Bezier interpolations. Here's that same oval with linear interpolations. And again with discrete interpolations. Finally, here's a rectangle with opacity keyframes that are set to discrete interpolations. Keyframes are a great way to add some animation to your movie, and interpolation allows you to customize transitions between keyframes to create a visually appealing experience for your viewers. For more information about keyframes, see the online help.